What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843, back with a bonus video. In today's video, we are going to show you how to refurbish a vending machine quickly and cheaply and get it location ready. This is the updated video of a previous video we did before, but check out this machine, guys. Look at the side. It's got all kinds of scratches. It's got a pretty big gouge down the middle of that. I'm not sure if you can really see that, so that's why I pointed it out. Uh, but this is our new combo machine going to the diesel garage. This is a snack and freezer combo machine not a snack and drink machine and I'll put up a picture why I thought it was a snack and drink machine when I first purchased the machine here so you can see what I'm talking about but it is a snack and freezer machine and we cannot convert it to snack and drink but that's okay because the diesel garage wants a machine that can provide lunches so we're going to do some cool stuff inside and we'll show you that in a future video this video is talking about how we're going to get this machine location ready so overall some things I've already done to the machine I had to replace a couple motors inside I've added a Nyax credit card reader, and we're going to start by filling these scratches with some Bondo spot putty, I can, as you can see there, and just some Bondo applicators. Now, I got this at Walmart. It was roughly $4 for the spot putty, and I think $1.99 for the, for the applicator. So all I'm doing is I'm going to put it right on the applicator uh, thing there, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to spread it out into that, that rough gouge channel. Now, ultimately... How, how much of this you want to do depends on how perfect you want your machine to be. Now, this side of the machine is going to go up against the wall, so it doesn't have to be perfect for me. All I'm doing is making it look better to be more professional. So as you know, um, we've got lots of locations, and this one um, this was one of our slower locations that this machine's going to, but with the addition of the lunches and the credit card reader, I think things are going to pick up. So all I'm doing now is getting things ready, getting this machine looking nice, so uh, I'm not embarrassed to take it to my location because if I took it to a location looking like this, even though this side is going up against the wall, I'd feel bad because it just it just looks all beat up. So we're going to make it look nice. Again, it's not going to be perfect. I didn't spend that much time on it. I'm just doing this cheaply and quickly to get it location ready. So all we're going to do now is just fill some of these rough gouges uh, with this spot putty and uh, go from there. So watch me uh, fill this stuff up and then we'll move on to the next step.
All right, now one thing with the spot putty is it dries pretty quickly. So as you can see, it was starting to dry on me as I was working with it. And uh, this this whole next section here where I'm sanding is just about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes later. So all I'm using is some 220 grit sandpaper to just give it a, a knockdown, make it smooth. As you can see, it, just, it sands really easily, but there is some dust. So keep that in mind. Uh, but this is a great option for somebody that can't do a spray paint like we did in our previous video. This option is going to be for you. If you can't do spray paint, maybe you live in an apartment complex or something like that where you just can't spray paint. This is a much better option because it's less messy. Of course, there is a little bit of dust here with, when you're sanding, but that cleans up. It just wipes down really easily and just sweeps up with a broom or a vacuum. It's really easy. So after you get it done sanded, um, what you want to do is wipe it down with like a damp rag. So we'll do that next. All right, here we go. Just wiping down all the excess dust. Um, we're going to do one more application of the spot putty. And like I said, um, I'm just trying to make sure that that big gouge is filled in as much as possible. Now, as you know, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. How much effort or how much spot putty you want to use and put into it um, is going to be your choice. I'm only doing two applications and it looks much better when I'm done. Um, but I could have done probably three or four or five applications if I wanted to get it just perfect. And uh, so that you could never see that that seam or whatever you want to call it. All right, let's go ahead and do application number two. After everything's been wiped down and dried off, I'm going to go ahead and do application number two. After we do application number two, we'll repeat the process. We'll sand and then we'll wipe down with a damp rag. Uh, so again, watch me and <laughs> watch me applying the uh, spot putty and we'll move on to the next step. All right, spot putty is dry. This is application number two. Let's go ahead and give it another sand. Again, I'm using 220 grit sandpaper. And again, when I'm done, it just gives it a nice smooth finish. Um, after this, we're gonna, of course, wipe it down again with a damp rag, and then we're gonna move on to painting. And the painting is really where all this work just kind of disappears. Now, again, you're still gonna be able to see a little bit of that crease where that big gouge was, because I didn't do four or five or six applications. But again, this is gonna look amazing. It's gonna look so much better than it did uh, with all those scratches and everything and again it's going to be location ready and you won't be embarrassed having a scratched beat up machine so after we get the sanding done let's go ahead and wipe it down with a damp rag here we go we're just gonna and all we're doing like i said is we're um we're clearing off all that excess dust just to make sure that we get a nice clean surface for painting um so painting we're going to move on to just after we finish this and um all we're going to use like i said in the, pre in the previous video we used spray paint in this video, we're going to use a roller, and you can use any roller, any anything, you know, you can get it from Walmart. I think I spent like, you know, $3 on the, ro on the roller, whatever it is. Again, this is a cheap and quick way to get it done. So here we go. What we're using now is we're using Rust-Oleum's Satin Black, just oil-based paint. And we're using, like I said, we're using a roller, and we're just going to roll it on, and we're going to try and get nice, even coats. Again, um... It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to look so much better than when we're done. So let's go ahead and cover up all of our spot putty work, and you'll just see how it just disappears behind the paint. Look at that, guys. It's already looking amazing, right? Looking 10 times better than it did when we first started the video, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and keep on painting. I'm going to paint um, all the sides, and I'm going to do some touch-up on the front bottom and the front corners and everything where there were some scratches and some paint chips. When I'm all done, you won't be able to tell that there were ever scratches or paint chips on the front. Uh, I really focus really well on the front 
although I don't really show the detail of it in this video. So all, all I'm doing though, is just using that roller and the edges of the roller to touch things up on the front, on the sides, cover up any scratches, just blend it all together and make it look, again, location ready. That's what we're after. Location ready, doing it quickly, and most, most importantly, very cost effective, right? That's the key, be doing it cheap. All right, let's go ahead and finish painting up and then we'll be back to show you the end result. All right, guys, let's take a look at this machine. So this is a Crane National combo machine. It's, it does snacks and frozen foods. Again, we're going to take it to our diesel garage location. It's gonna do snacks up top, frozen foods at the bottom, and it's gonna be just perfect. But look how, how awesome this looks, guys. We, we did a lot of touch up on the front. You can't tell. Um, you know, this is still drying on the side, so there is a little bit of a little, a little bit of shininess too, and you can kind of see where that channel was. But it looks so much better than it did. Again, this side is just going up against the wall, so it didn't have to be perfect in my opinion. Um, but let's take a look over on oh, at the whole machine, right? Let's take a look at the inside. You can see we've got our Nyax credit card reader installed there, and uh, since we did shoot this video, I did install like a little adjustment plate that kind of bumps that credit card reader out just a little bit as well. Because previously when it was installed like this, I wasn't able to swipe a card down. I could only use the touch or the chip. So I installed um, a kind of a little mounting bracket that, that kind of bumped it out and made it easier so you could swipe. So let's take a look. Here's the freezer section of the machine. In this part, we're gonna do Hot Pockets, we're gonna do ice cream bars, burritos, pizza rolls, mini pizzas, cheeseburgers, all, all kinds of cool stuff for, the, for their lunches. Up top, we're gonna do snacks. But look at how cool this machine looks, guys. It is ready, it is location ready, and it's ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. We're making all kinds of great videos. We got lots of great videos coming your way for vending and arcade when it comes to collections, and placing machines, and filling machines, and doing all kinds of cool stuff. So give us a, a subscribe, give us a like, share our videos, guys. Let's wrap this video up. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're working our way to that next milestone and we need your help to get there. So if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. And while you're down there, please give us a thumbs up to like the video and also make sure you share our videos with your friends. All right, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our videos and thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate you all. It is time to wrap this video up, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.